One of the key discoveries that the Cassini orbiter and the Huygens probe revealed for us was discovering the liquid lakes on Titan. Cassini was able to look at the lakes, get a sense of the coarse composition of the lakes, but nothing about the organic molecules that are dissolved in the lakes. The Titan-Saturn system mission is a three-in-one mission with an orbiter for Titan, a balloon that will float through Titan's atmosphere, and a lander that will splash down on one of the northern lakes of Titan. This mission will actually go into a lake, sample the liquid directly, see what the organic molecules are that are present. The Titan-Saturn system mission also will go to Enceladus, a tinier moon, a thousand times smaller than Titan, which has volcanoes, geysers essentially, that are spewing material from the inside of this moon outward. And it's a chance to see whether there might be molecules that would indicate that life has actually formed within the source region of these geysers. These geysers have water ice, and we strongly suspect that there's liquid water in the region that these geysers are coming from. We know there are organic molecules there because they've been measured by Cassini. The ability to follow this up quickly is essential because with Cassini Huygens, we have now trained a generation of scientists who are ready to take a new generation of instruments and capabilities back to Titan and Enceladus and really answer the questions that Cassini Huygens has left for us. And that continuity of, of knowledge and of enthusiasm is essential and very difficult to maintain in the outer solar system because trip times are so long. The Titan-Saturn system mission really is Jules Verne realized. It's a kind of planetary exploration that we have never ever done before anywhere else in the solar system and can only be done on Titan. This mission will touch the human heart in terms of the way it's exploring this fascinating world. It will be floating on the surface of a lake. It will be floating through the atmosphere. It will be revealing the entire surface from orbit at the same time. As we think of exploration, of unveiling a new world, it's exploration in the true sense of the word.